Hi, today we're looking at section 6-2, six, six solving systems by substitution. In the last lesson, we solved systems by graphing. So this is one, one additional method we can use, so you don't have to be graphing. Take something out for notes. Learning targets today, I can solve systems of linear equations by substitution. Here are the steps for solving systems of equations by substitution. Step one, solve it for, solve one of the equations for one variable, x equals y equals. If necessary, it may already be solved for a variable. Substitute that value, or that expression to the second equation. Solve that equation for that variable. Put that back into that first equation, or to the other equation and solve. And then write your answers as ordered pairs, because you saw with graphing, your solution is an ordered pair. And then check your answers. So write this down into your notes. These are the steps for solving by substitution. So our first equation, we have y equals 3x and y equals x minus 2. Both of these are already solved for y. So we can take this value and substitute in for this y. So we get x minus 2 equals 3x, and we solve for x. Okay, so solving, setting those two equations equal to each other, we get x to equal negative 1. Now we have to solve for y, so we substitute in negative 1 for our x value, and we did it for both of the equations, and the, er, both of them solve for y, so y equals negative 3, and y equals negative 3, so yes, our solution is going to be ordered pair, negative 1, negative 3, and write your answer as an ordered pair. Now let's move on to b. y equals x plus 1, and 4x plus y equals 6. So again, our first step in solving is to get one of our equations solved for a variable. Our first one is solved for y. So we can take this value for y and plug it into that value. So we took this value for y, and we substitute that in for this y, which is right here. So 4x plus the quantity x plus 1 equals 6. We can get rid of the uh, grouping. So we get 4x plus x plus 1 equals 6, combine like terms, 5x plus 1 equals 6, subtract 1 from both sides, divide by 5, our x value x equals 1. Now we can take that value for x, substitute that in and solve for y, so our first equation we get y equals 1 plus 1, or y equals 2, and our second equation we can check that, 4 times 1 plus y equals 6, this is our x value was, and we end up with y equals 2 also. So the ordered pair 1, 2 is our solution. And our last one we're looking at is this system. Let's go through and work through that one. This example, we had to rewrite one of our equations to solve for a variable. I chose to do the second equation, solving it for x. I added y to both sides, so x plus y equals 5. I then took this value for y and substitute in for x into my first equation. You have to substitute into this, the equation you didn't rewrite. So that first equation becomes y plus 5 equals y plus, y plus 5 plus y plus 2 equals negative 1. Again, we can remove our grouping symbols, combine like terms, leaving us with 3y plus 1 equals negative 5. Subtract 5 from both sides, divide by 3, we get y equals a negative 2. With that value, we can then substitute our negative 2 in for our y into both of our equations, negative 2 here, negative 2, solving for x, we get x equals negative 3 in the first one, and also the same in the second, so that's good. So our ordered pair, our solution is at the point 3, negative 2. And you have some, well, so look at, remember, so remember when you solve one equation for a variable, you must substitute the value or expression to the other original equation, not the one that you just had just solved. So you're going back to the original one and substituting to the other original one. Here you have three check it outs. Solve, make sure the first one's already solved for y, second one we have solved for x, and the third one we have to either solve for x or y. It's your choice, pick which one you want to solve for. And now we're going to solve by substitution using the distributive property. So again we have to solve one of our equations for a variable. I'm going to choose to do the first one, solve it for y. So I chose to do this first equation, you're writing for y, y equals 
negative 6x plus 11. I took this value for y and substituted into the other equation. So this went into the other equations and leaving us a 3x plus 2 times our y equals a negative 5. Have to distribute the 2 to every term in the parentheses. So we get 3x minus 12x plus 22 equals negative 5. Combine like terms, negative 9x plus 22 equals negative 5. Divide both sides by negative 9, we get x equals 3. So you have one of our variables, now we have to solve it for y. So substitute in negative 3 for our x. In the first equation we get y plus 6 times 3 equals 11. Distribute the 6, or times 6 times 3, y plus 18 equals 11. And subtract 18 from both sides, so y equals a negative 7. And check, make sure our second equation, we get the same thing, and we do, we get y equals negative 7. So y, the order pairs the solutions at the point 3, negative 7. Here is your example, your check it out to do. Again, solve one of these for either x or y. I might pick the first one since y has a coefficient of 1. Add 2x to both sides and you'll get it solved for y. Now we're looking at a story problem again. Jen is deciding between two cell phone plans. The first plan has a $50 sign up fee and costs $20 per month. The second plan has a $30 sign up fee and costs $25 per month. After how many months will the total costs be the same? What will the costs be? And if Jenna has to sign a one-year contract, which plan will be cheaper and explain? So in our last lesson, we had a graph. We had an example like this. We had a graph. Here we'll solve, these, solve the system by substitution. So the two equations we get for plan A, or plan 1, we get y equals 20x plus 50, because it's $50 to sign up, $20 a month. Plan 2 is $3 to sign up and then $25 a month. So since they're already both solved for y, we can substitute, set them equal to each other. So 25x plus 30 equals 20x plus 50. Getting x onto one side, subtract 20x from both sides. We get 5x plus 30 equals 50, subtract 30. 5x equals 20 or x equals 4 which tells us at four months, they're going to have the same costs. Now we have to find y, and y is going to be how much the cost will be. So we can substitute 4 into, for our x into both of the equations and see, and we, when doing that, we get y to be 130 for both of them, which is great. They should be the same cost in each of those equations we solve them. So the cost is going to be $130. And a Solve for C now, find which plan is cheaper after a year. We set our x equal to 12 because it's 12 months and they're looking for a one year contract. 12 months, because everything here was based upon cost per month and per month. So in our first equation, we substitute 12 in for x and solve. We get y equals $290. Second equation, solve 12 in for x. We get y to be 330. So the best plan is going to be plan one is going to be cheaper because it's only $290. So now you have a check it out to do. Bring any questions to class. So to summarize, this is again another way of solving a system. Yesterday we did graphing and you had to take two, you had two equations, two linear equations, and you graph them where the points intersected was a solution. Today we are more accurate, we are able to solve by substitution. Solve one of the equations for a variable, substitute that into this other expression, solve that se second expression, substitute that value into, or solve that second equation, I'm sorry, substitute that value back into the original equation, solve it, and then rise an ordered pair and check your answer. So again, graphing was a point of intersection, but substitution is still a point, which is why we write them as an ordered pair. So again, good luck, bring me questions to class.